Fire Emblem Shadows of Valentia Echoes Limited Edition gets a release for the Nintendo 3DS console. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting. I must say, this is one of the largest limited edition sets I have received or obtained in recent memory. This is extremely huge. I thought it would be maybe half the size. This, I'm going to compare it to some other limited edition sets later in the video, but it's monstrous, mostly because of the art book. This game was released on May 19th. I'm getting it a week late. I ordered it from Amazon and they just took a while getting it to me. It was 60 US dollars plus tax, which is actually a pretty good price considering these things, especially when they're limited releases for Nintendo, they skyrocket in price. So I really don't like resellers or scalpers. Just buy one of these things if you're after them and let everyone try and get a chance that they're still being sold. So on the cover of the game here, the cover of this massive limited edition, you have the two characters, Alm and Celica. There are Amiibo figures for these as well and they were sold out in my area, in my region, and I still haven't been able to get my hands on them, so I'm after those as well. They are compatible with other Amiibo, even Corrin, who's coming out later for the Super Smash Bros. series, they'll be compatible with as well. If you're not familiar with this game, this is a remake of the second Fire Emblem game, called Fire Emblem Gaiden, I believe, and that was released in 1992 in Japan. So there's some touches to that still in the game, but it's reimagined and completely remade. Now this is a tactical RPG. Most, or almost every Fire Emblem game, I believe, is an RPG. It's where you go and then you wait your turn and then someone else goes or the other side goes. And in this game, let's just go a little bit of an overview here before I unbox it. The way of the sword or the way of the heart. Guide Alm and Celica as they command their armies across the war-torn continent of Valentia in this Fire Emblem epic. Remastered for the Nintendo 3DS family of systems with new graphics and full English voice for cinematics and story dialogue. The cinematics in this I hear are outstanding. They really brought it up to 2017. Down here it says battle your way across the continent as you control two armies, one for Alm, one for Salka. Strategize to defeat your enemies, explore 3D dungeons, and apparently there's dragons and stuff like that in here too. And this is compatible with amiibo figures, like I said, that I don't have yet, but it's also going to be compatible with Corrin that's going to be up for Super Smash Bros. and the previous Fire Emblem figures already released. If you're wondering what comes in this limited edition set, just to give you a quick overview, this includes the game, of course, the art book that is monstrous, mostly the reason for this massive package and we also have a sound selection CD not quite a soundtrack but a sound selection CD and a cool pin set that I'm looking forward to getting my hands on as well and then you have all the information about this I'm really happy Nintendo went back to their red style now I just want to blame Amazon there's some dents on this box right there there's another one there on the top it looks like there's some scuffs on here already and I'm just really happy to have this at all I'm not a fan of resellers I'm not a fan of scalpers so I really do think buy this buy this once if you can still find it Nintendo tends to be making things limited and as soon as they're gone they're gone so even Reggie has been saying if you can get your hands on something make sure you do so as fast as you possibly can and you might have to pre-order it wherever it's possible because later on you won't be able to get it. I'm going to keep this in my collection forever so it doesn't really matter to me about opening this. I'm going to open it up and enjoy it. So this monstrous box, it does come with cardboard it looks like on the inside as well kind of to keep this maybe more sturdy. Just going to show that box over here. It's monstrous. All right, so here we go. We've got the art book. Valentia art book. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Valentia or Valentia. I think it's Valentia. This looks really neat in red. Just going to give you an overview of everything. Going to open that up though. Then we have here the nice package of the game, the pin set, and the sound selection. First thing first, let's get to the art book. I'm excited for that. So I do have a X-Acto knife I'm going to use on this as well. This game, if you were wondering, has a 84 on Metacritic currently, and Fire Emblem games in my collection, I'm missing a lot of them. Some of them are only released in Japan, so it's nice to see a game like this, the second Fire Emblem, being released in North America and brought up to 2017. So look at this red background, that looks really cool on both sides, especially now that the packaging is off. It's almost hard to depict what is going on. It looks like it's almost dragons, and I'm getting that feel armies and fighting and everything opening it for the first time so let's get this in shots so that looks really good fire emblem echoes a picture of the two characters some really nice art here actually wow Alm, um, we got some character design and art for some of the other characters like cliff and tobin 
And I'm not sure how to pronounce these names, so I'm going to go through this relatively quickly. And if you want to get your hands on this art book, sometimes you can find them for sale as well online individually. But if you're after the whole set right now, it's going crazy on eBay as almost all things Nintendo do. Wow, I really like this page. This page art looks absolutely incredible. I love the design of the castles. Those look really cool. So I'm wondering if those are the two opposing armies, maybe like their home castle or something like that. I'm not sure. I'll have to play the game to find out. Weapons on here as well. Staffs, axes, swords, bows, everything on there in terms of weapons. Some other neat locations. Looks like some of the different... Oh, that's almost spoilers. I'm not sure if I should be looking at that. Horses and knights. Some nice black and white depictions as well. Oh, that's really neat. So this is a autograph page, I'm assuming of the creators of the game. So this is really neat. Just look at some of these autographs. This is an autograph of someone? That's so neat. There's a little happy face down here of someone. I haven't seen these before. That's almost looking like a face as well. And this one, nice little cute character in that one. I think these are really interesting. A lot of the... I need to get a better signature. I'm not sure if that's just a coat of arms for the game or if that's a signature at the bottom. I need to practice my signature apparently and make it look like some sort of really adorable cute creature. And then the back, this is the original cover of Fire Emblem Gaiden or Gaiden for the Famicom. Wow, in 1992, right there. So that looks really neat. So the art book is absolutely wonderful. If you're a fan of Fire Emblem, I think you'd want to get your hands on that. Let's next move quite briefly to this soundtrack. Now the soundtrack is also sealed, so I'm gonna open this up. Things are meant to be enjoyed and played, people. I'm not a collector that likes to keep things sealed. Not too many of my items are sealed anyways. I do have a handful of them. Actually, I just traded away my sealed Pokemon Snap to get some other items from my collection. I really wanna play my games. So here's the sound selection CD. On the back, more plain. Now here you have a sound selection, so you've got the list right there. And the disc itself, it looks like it's red. Usually Nintendo puts a little tidbit behind here, so I'm wondering if I can get this disc up. Ah, yes. So I think this is the cover of the game from the original Famicom right there. That looks like the exact same as it was on the art book, so that's pretty interesting. That looks really nice. I'm gonna keep that right there. Next up, let's just take a look at this pin set. So the pin set, it looks like that's Alm and Celica. I think that's Marth. That looks way too much like Marth. This is a really nice 2D depiction of these different characters. And there are pins, so as I drop that, there are pins like this that you've probably seen before that you can actually wear if you're interested in wearing them. If you're a hardcore Fire Emblem fan, maybe you can wear those out to some event. Or even just wear them out in public on a daily basis. And here is the game, finally, to finish us off. Fire Emblem and the back which is very similar to the back of the big box for this art collection or limited edition. And opening this up, normally there's no instructions on here, so opening this up individually, not that exciting, but we're gonna do it as part of the set anyways. So what do we have in here? Oh, we do have a viewing the game manual. So it just says viewing the game manual. I can see already, it looks like there's some different character or uh, cover art that we can use. Now on the game itself, that's pretty neat and interesting. I'm wondering if I can get this perfectly in shot. We have a 2D depiction of Alm and Celica, the two characters of this game. So that's a really nice touch. I, I like that. And then I'm going to pull up this... Oh, that's really cool. So this is the... I'm assuming this is going back to Fire Emblem 2 on the Famicom. So you could use this. It does say 1992 Nintendo right down here. So that must be what this is. So you can use this one instead if you would like. You can use either or, which is really, really neat and wonderful. So I like this idea. I don't like how there's no manuals for these, especially when you do a limited edition set. You still don't get a manual. You have an electronic manual. But other than that, this is wonderful for 60 US dollars. This looks kind of odd without the cover on it, but I just really want to show off that cover. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll put it on. Let me know as a comment below, what are your thoughts on the Fire Emblem series? Do you enjoy playing it? Are you a huge fan of it? Do you like RPGs and tactical RPGs where you take your turn? This is, I think, only the third Fire Emblem game I have in my collection. I have Fire Emblem Awakening for the 3DS, one of the best games on the system. I have Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. I'm looking for Path of... Radiance for the GameCube, and I eventually want to get all of them. But this for $60, pretty good deal. 
I think, especially if you can get your hands on it, but normally Nintendo has been going crazy with any limited editions, and once they're sold out, they're gone. Even the Amiibo, I'm told. The Amiibo might never be restocked. I'm not really sure. So let me know as a comment below, is this worth it to you? Do you think it's a good purchase? Are you into Fire Emblem? Are you not? I really need to play this more to get a better idea for whether Fire Emblem is a perfect series for me, but I'm really happy to see Fire Emblem in the limelight more, and I feel like... Fire Emblem characters like Marth are being set on a pedestal now, high up with like Mario and Link, and they're not quite at that level with them, but at least they're being focused on. There's so many Fire Emblem games out for the 3DS that you can enjoy right now, which is really wonderful to see. I love seeing Nintendo bring out limited edition releases, as long as I can get my hands on them, because I'm a big Nintendo fan, but if they're sold out everywhere, it makes it really hard to get your hands on them. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember, as always, Go collect them all and keep smiling while gaming. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bonus footage. If you want to see a comparison for this video, by the way, for this box, I just want to compare it to some other things. So here's Earthbound, the big box for Earthbound. And here I am comparing it to this limited edition set. So it's just taller than it, but... I guess Earthbound's a little bit thicker, but that's about the idea in size. Earthbound's a little bit wider as well, maybe by a quarter of, no, maybe by half an inch. If you want to compare it to Xenoblade Chronicles X for the Wii U, looking at these two boxes, I don't want to crush it, so I'm going to put it on the bottom. This one is, okay, so this new limited edition set is vastly bigger than the, not vastly, but it's bigger by at least an inch in that dimension and width it's maybe half an inch bigger as well but it's not quite as thick maybe it's really close to as thick but not quite as thick as the one for the wii u this is the largest box i've received i think for any limited edition game in a very long time other than skylanders skylanders makes huge boxes as well some neat little comparisons to other size of the boxes thanks nintendo for making this huge where am i going to put this in my collection i wonder have a good day everyone